Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you um, how to make a wire hanger Christmas tree. I've been making these for, this is my third year now. Um, I make them for our church missions. And so I thought I would take time today to show you how I make them. Um, this is kind of like what the finished product looks like. Um, just a nice lit Christmas tree. So as you can tell, I've been busy. I think I've made 30 of them so far and I've got a few more to make so I thought I'll go ahead and just show you how I make them. So what you're going to need are you're going to need some um, six wire hangers, um, a strand of a hundred Christmas lights, some zip ties, some small zip ties, just real small, and a glue gun and some glue sticks, and then some garland. So first off, we take the hangers and we turn them like this and wrap them around and then tie them off. So I'm just going to tie the three sides together like a triangle. You're also going to need a good pair of scissors. So here's the first triangle. So what I do is I just get the hangers and just wrap them around and then just tie them off. It's pretty simple. And we got to have three of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do three of these just like this. Yeah, this is my um, third year making these. I sell them. Um, first of all, I purchased all the material after, um, after Christmas the year before get a real good deal on the garland and the lights and um, some of the ornaments and bows and then the next year um, around Thanksgiving I make all of these trees and then I sell them and um, give all the money to our church missions which is a good way to give back to the church um, I went to YouTube to figure out how to make these and I only saw a couple of videos so I thought I would go ahead and just do a video on my own just to kind of show you um, how they're made. It takes me about 15 minutes to make one tree, which isn't too bad. It may take me a little longer since I'm video, um, since I'm recording this, um, just so that I can go over all the steps. So I'm on my last triangle. And it does take quite a bit of zip ties, just depending on how many trees you're going to make. If you're just making one tree, it shouldn't be too bad. You should be able to just get a pack of 100 zip ties. Um, you can get them at Home Depot, Walmart. Um, find them cheap throughout the year. Okay. So once you got all three of these um, assembled, then all I do is just cut off the ends so that there's no extra um, zip tie hanging off. Yeah, all this, um, it does kind of make a mess on the floor from all the, um, all the debris from all the garland. Um, so usually I still find garland on the floor quite a bit after, after they've been made because that garland kind of sticks to everything. Yeah, you can just choose your favorite garland. Um, I always get the nice, thick garland, especially like with this tree here. It looks really nice, iridescent. It's thick. It fills out the tree pretty well. Okay, so here's the third one. Got all the ends cut off. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these three here. So I'm gonna take two of them and we're just going to intertwine them just like this and we're going to take our third one and put it in between so it's kind of like a teepee um, and then what I do is I just take just a twist tie down the middle bottom of it and I tie it off so you know usually um, it doesn't really stick together until after you've started putting the lights on. 
that's when it all really comes together. So I'm just going to tie these off. And then you can see what all three of these look like um, together. Okay, so we have this kind of TP shape. And then I'm going to take the lights. So this is a taller tree. I'm using some, I'm doing some small ones and I'm doing some tall ones. Um, so for the tall ones, I am using a strand of 100 lights. And um, like I said, I'm just going to do silver and blue for this particular tree, which I think will look really nice. And then once you get the light situated, um, you're going to take this end here and you're just going to start on the tree on the top. And I'm just going to put this down in the center, get all my pieces together. And I'm just going to tie off this first bulb to kind of give it a start. I'm just going to zip it off. And usually I just cut the tips off as I'm doing it. That way I don't have to go back and try to find all of the tips. And then I'm just going to go down. So as you can see, there's two, four, there's um, six long sides going down. So I'm just going to go down each one and tie these off. Usually what I do is I take it where the little um, hook is and that's where I tie it off at, kind of give it a little bit more support. So I'll go ahead and do a few of these and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here I have, I've got the bottom part of it done. Uh, I usually do like a space of three bulbs in between. So as you can tell, that kind of strengthens the base of this. And then what I start doing is I start running this up and down the tops of each um, row. Um, so I'm just going to do a couple of these. And then that way it will support the top of the tree. And then... Um, I go down to the next row. So I'm just gonna go up and down each row and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so by now I do have one going up and down every row. Um, so now I'm just going to start wrapping the lights around the tree. Just keep on wrapping. There's plenty of lights with a hundred set. And then every so often I'll go ahead and tie it off. Cause when we put the garland on, the garland will kind of help keep the lights in place. Just be real careful when you're cutting the ties that you don't cut the lights. And I also suggest to check the lights before you start stranding them on here because it'd be pretty bad if the lights don't work after going through all of this. Okay, here's the last bulb to get tied off. Um, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you get to the bottom of the tree that you have plenty of cord left so that um, there's um, a lot of cord to where you can stretch it out to plug it in. You know, a lot of people end up having to use um, extension cords because, you know, usually these lights aren't very, um, these strands aren't very long. So the next thing I do is I go ahead and get all the garland that I'm going to use. So with a tree this size, I use three strands of garland. This is 15 foot. 
um, so I go ahead and get it all opened up. That way when I start hot um, start hot gluing it, it's gonna make it real easy to get to the garland. So let me go ahead and get this opened up and then I'll reposition the camera so that you can see how I strand and glue the garland on the tree. Okay, I've got my first um, strand of garland here. And what I do is I just put a bunch of hot glue down and then I just wrap this here at the top, kind of pinch it. And then I just start wrapping the garland around the bulbs and the tree um, tree frame. And then I just take it and start wrapping it around to fill it up. And you just want to use enough garland to keep it going. So there's one strand of garland here. It's going to glue it down to the center of the tree. And then I'm going to go ahead and start my next strand where I left off. And then I'm just going to keep wrapping this around. And then I'll show you what this looks like once I get all the garland on. Okay, here's the last strand of garland. Make sure that you don't um, wrap your cable so that you can plug it in easy. And then I usually just run the garland back up to the tree, through the tree, and then I just glue it off toward the top. And then there you have a nice silver tree. Go ahead and plug it in, let you see what it looks like. So once you get it plugged in, then you can work on pushing all of the bulbs through so that you can see the lights coming through. So once I get the lights through, I'll show you what it looks like with the lights out. Okay, here it is with the lights out. It's got a nice um, blue glow about it. And depending on how many bulbs you want to see, you can just continue pushing the bulbs through as you're decorating the tree. So next what I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like after I put on some of the decorations. Okay, to decorate the tree what I did was I bought these little ornaments after Christmas and got a good deal on these silver and blue ornaments and also got some of these blue um, bows. So um, these right here look really nice on the silver trees. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a few of these on here. Um, very easy to do. You can either hot glue them. Usually what I do is I go ahead and just place them on the tree. Um, like with these bows here. Um, I just put the stem through it without wrapping it around. And just place them on the tree to where I think that it will look nice. Um, and then whenever you get everything placed the way you want it, then you can go ahead and um, start putting on just the regular ornaments. So to use the ornaments, I just got these little mini um, um, ornament hooks and just take a few of these. Um, it doesn't take very many just to fill the tree up and just kind of place them on here. I do have to transport these trees um, to where I sell them. So a lot of times I'll either put all the ornaments, I, I'll usually decorate it and take a picture and then I will um, take all the ornaments out that's going to go on that particular tree and put them in a baggie and so whoever buys the tree can actually um, decorate the tree on their own. But I'll show you what it looks like once it's all been decorated. Okay, so here's the tree all decorated with the bows and the ornaments. And then whoever, you know, purchases the tree can actually do a little bit more decorating if they like. But overall, it's a really easy project. It's a nice way to do for fundraisers around the holidays. 
Um, so if you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you have any questions about making the tree, um, please leave your comments below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, but it's a very simple um, project to do. Um, but thank you very much for taking your time to watch it, and we'll see you later.